Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. So it's a bit of a different one today, as you can probably see behind me, I've got the Porsche set up on my lift. And today I'm gonna be changing the oil and the filter on this car. And I think it'll be good for many of you guys to see how you know a Porsche engine is actually situated in these cars and how easy it is to actually do maintenance on these cars as well. Because many people probably believe that it's very, very hard to do maintenance on these when realistically Porsche is a very, very easy car to work on. As many of you guys know, this is a Boxster and just like the Cayman of the 987 era, the engines are mid-engines on these. So therefore, everything is very, very easy and simple to gain access to. And the reason I've done this video as well, I know many of you ain't gonna like this purely because it BMW related, but I know a lot of you wanted to see a few videos on this car and I just thought, I keep doing a lot of BMW videos and now the oil change is due on this. Why not do the video and show you guys how it's done? So let's get onto this video and let's get the Porsche up in the air and let's start changing the oil on the Porsche 987. God damn, get it done, will you? When the blow up now, everybody's so unusual with it. Shit. But said times in his rhymes because his memories. We run into New York, so you know. Okay, guys, so here we are with the Porsche Boxster, and as you can see, everything is very, very simple underneath this car. Right here, you can see our drain plug. Right here, you can see your oil filter. Now, the oil filter is going to be changed. Obviously, it's hit 5,000 miles since I've had it, and I've done 5,000 miles in the car. So it's time it gets changed. Now, a lot of people with Porsche end up changing this for the canister oil filter housing. And from what Porsche say and recommend, they'd recommend not to do that because you end up with like a ticking sound where the oil isn't getting to the obviously crankshaft and the bearings and getting around the engine properly or getting to the hydraulic lifters. So they recommend not to put on a spin-on type canister filter, whatever it is, onto here. Now they do do the upgrade, it's about 300 pounds just for a spin-on canister. And they're meant to say it supplies better oil, especially for cornering. But from what I know and from what um, people have said, it's a debatable whether you should or shouldn't change it. But I'm not gonna be changing that. I'm leaving it as a normal oil filter. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna let the oil drain out from the sump plug, let the oil drain, get the oil filter off, put the new filter on, and then we're gonna put the new oil in. The oil I'm gonna be using today is the recommended by Porsche, which is Mobile One Zero W40 fully, fully synthetic. We're gonna put that in and um, let it run. It's 7.5 liters you need to put into the car to be precise. Okay guys, so now the drain is in place. Now I've got my eight mil Allen key bolt and I'm just gonna release the sump plug. And we've got to be quick here because the oil is gonna be hot. So I'm just gonna put a pair of gloves on. So as you can see, it's already leaking out of the sump plug. So now what I'm gonna do is just undo it. And as you can see there, that's all the oil coming out of the sump and it is broken down and all thin, and that's purely because I have let it go up to temperature. So we'll just let it drain down. So you can see there, it's just finishing up right now. And you can see what a mess it makes as well when draining. Nothing to obviously be concerned about, but this is why I use an oil drainer for this reason. Now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is release the oil filter after this finishes draining. Um, and then we'll get the oil filter out. Now the oil filter for Porsche is this one right here, which is P9144. This is a Bosch one I'm gonna be using. That's the one you're gonna to need to change the oil filter and your oil on a Porsche 987. This is the correct oil filter. And I believe it may be the same for the 986, but don't correct me on that. Now when I actually got this car, I actually changed the oil, um, but I haven't changed it again since I've done four, four or 5,000 miles. That's why I'm changing it again, because it's been overdue and it needs to be changed. What I'm going to quickly do while this is draining is I'm just going to get my ratchet strap on it so I can then unloosen the oil filter. Just like that. And one, once that's loose enough, you can then just let it down by hand. We're gonna be changing our O-ring on the oil filter as well. And as you can see, you'll get oil like that inside the cup. You're just gonna to wanna to remove the oil filter. So what we'll do is we'll lower the drainer down and keep that underneath. Or we'll just clean up all the container 
put the oil filter off. We need to get the O-ring off there. As you guys know, I always replace the O-rings on the oil filter housing on every single lid I've got. Doesn't matter what car it is because, you know, you just better be safe than sorry. So now we've got that replaced. I'm just gonna push our oil filter into place. And then what we can do is then we tighten it. So I'm just gonna get oil and pull it around our O-ring to make sure and we'll just tighten this back up into place, just like that. And as you can see there, that's all we tightened. Now I'll just clean up all around here. Any oil stains, residue on the cap, clean everything up. And now we move to the top to put the new oil in. Okay guys, so if many of you guys don't know Porsche, oil on Porsche is actually in the rear lid compartment. And we're gonna be using, as I said, Mobile One Zero W40 fully synthetic. Now this oil is not cheap. And this is what Porsche recommend. You can see it right up there on the sticker. That's what they recommend, the same like BMW recommends shell. So I only use what the manufacturer recommends. And now this is like 60 pound each for five liters. So you can expect how expensive it is to be changing oil every 5,000 miles on a Porsche. This is why most people that have Porsches don't drive them as an everyday car, because it's just not affordable to be able to do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and just tip the oil in. And do remember this is a Porsche, so it has a digital um, oil gauge. It's not got a dipstick, so you've got to check it on the system. Just check the oil level. And to get the correct oil level, it's not like a BMW where you have to wait for it to heat up with these. You just turn the key in the ignition, leave the ignition lights on, and it tells you within five seconds what the oil level is. Now I know because we've drained all the oil, it's gonna be completely empty. So I'm just gonna tip this whole five liters in because that's never enough for this car anyway. It needs 7.5. That's why it's very, very expensive to be doing oil changes on a Porsche. You've got to expect for me, 10 pound for the oil filter, 60 pound for each five liters of oil. So it's 130 pound just to do an oil change every 5,000 miles on this car and it saves you a lot of problems in the long run. As I say to you all the time, oil is cheap, engines are not. Now we'll put more in and then what I'll do is I'll show you guys how you can check the oil level on a Porsche. We'll just stop there and check how much we've put in. So only a litre so far. We need about another litre and then we'll check. Just stop there again. So we put another litre in. So let's go and check the oil level and I'll show you guys how easy it is on a Porsche compared to a BM. Okay guys, so this is the 987. This is how you check the oil level on a Porsche. And you can see there saying oil measurement. It just does it within seconds. As you can see there, we're nearly at full. You can see we're just a little touch off. So I've nearly got it 100% correct. So we'll just pop that half a litre and it should be completely full. So let's just top up that half a litre. Stop there. Yep, and we've got that bang on now. So. That's the half a litre in. And now when you see the oil gauge now, you should see it will show completely full. And this is what I mean by Porsche, guys. This is just brilliant engineering at its finest. As with BMW, you would have to wait and let the car warm up before you can check the oil level. With Porsche, it's straight away there and then you get the correct oil reading. No waiting around, no nothing. So now we'll check the oil level again. And now you should see it's 100% correct. See, and as you can see there guys, it's literally on full now. And there is no overfill line on these on Porsche. You have to be very, very careful and temperamental. 7.5 liters is enough to bring it all the way up to full. So do remember that if you ever change oil on a Porsche, you do not need to put any more in because it will not alert you and you can actually damage the engine. And I don't think any owner will be very happy if um, you were to damage their engine on their Porsche. Okay guys, so there you have it. I've now shown you how you can change the oil on a Porsche. Now, the reason I'm saying Porsche is because this applies to the 986, 987s, the Cayman and the Boxster. Any car that's actually mid-engine, the oil and the sump plug will be right there on the rear of the engine. The same with a 996 and a 997. They're all located at the rear. So it's very, very simple to change your own oil. As I said, you've got to remember, every time you change it, it's gonna cost you around 130 pound 
just to change your oil. So if you do take it to a garage, bear in mind, they're gonna probably charge you around 250 pounds just to change the oil. So I know a lot of people are not gonna be able to be in my position where they can just change it every 5,000 miles. But again, that's not really good for a Porsche engine because if you can't afford to change your oil regularly on these cars, realistically, you shouldn't be owning that type of car the same like a BMW. As I said, oil is cheap, engines are not, and this is why a lot of these engines end up bore scored, because people just don't drive them enough because they're worried about what the costs are gonna cost them long-term if they drive it as an everyday car. So the majority of Porsches sit in a garage and are only used once or twice a year when the summer comes and the oil's changed then, and then never again all year until you use it again, and that's not good for a Porsche. Obviously, I have been using mine. I bought this on 112,000 miles, and bearing in mind, it's now just hit 117, so it was way overdue to be changed again, and that's one of the reasons I did change it. So thank you very much for watching, guys. It's BMW Dr. Dean here, and goodbye.